Uh, uh, pass it to me. Now to uh. me. Now back uh. to me. What's this? Is anyone going to pass it to me or what? Pass it to me already. Uh. 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 Oh. Oh. Uh. Wow! wow. Talalo, that shot was incredible! Now we have to go look for it. Come with me. You can see a lot better from the sky. How did you get to be so strong, Talalo? Look at how many apple trees there are. And they're all full of apples. It's incredible. You're right. Talalo, next time you need to kick it softer. Look at the ball. It's right under the apple tree. Let's go get it. That's what you get for kicking the ball so hard. <laughs> huh? oh. Where's that laughter coming from? <laughs> huh? I haven't laughed so much in a long time. <laughs> it was pretty funny, wasn't it? Mr. Apple Tree, why are you so far away from the other apple trees? Well, you see, I was born in this place. And it never bothered me to be a bit farther away from my brothers. This way I can grow bigger and be more comfortable. But this year it hasn't rained very much and I haven't gotten any water. My brothers have been able to grow many apples, but I haven't been able to grow a single one. As you know, what we apple trees like to do most is grow apples, so that everyone can taste how good they are. Uh-huh. Is there anything we can do to help you? Not unless you can make it rain and make the wind take all these dead leaves away. Anyway, I hope that one day you can taste my apples. We've got to go now, Mr. Apple Tree. But don't you worry, we'll try and help you real soon. My friends, we need to help Mr. Apple Tree. The poor guy has no water and hasn't been able to produce any apples. Um, what can we do to help? What a great idea, Talalo. We'll make Mr. Apple Tree as good as new. It's raining. I can't believe it. Water! Lots of water! This is totally awesome! It's you! Thank you so much for doing this! Look at Mr. Tree. He's got flowers growing out of his head. That's strange, isn't it? Moo Moo, those flowers grow out of all the apple trees. And they will all turn into apples in just a few days. Good morning, Mr. Apple Tree. You sure have a lot of flowers now. All those flowers are so pretty. Thank you, my friends. When my apples are ripe, you can eat as many as you like. That's great. I want a basketful just for me. We'll check back soon to see how many apples there are. See you tomorrow. It's amazing how many apples there are. Hurry, hurry. Come here, everyone. You are not going to believe this. It's incredible. I see hundreds and hundreds of apples. It's awesome how many there are. Are all of you ready? Are we ready for what? 
Mr. Apple Tree for so much fruit. They are all for you for having been so kind. See you later. That was a lot of fun. We should go to the forest and look for trees, and if we see that they're dry, we'll give them lots of water. Yes, it's wonderful. Look how many apples Mr. Apple Tree has given us. Everyone, look at me! I'm a tree with flowers on my head. And these apples are so good! Um, um, um. You know what, Rita? When I'm older, I want to have at least two children. A little cow like me, and a bull like my daddy. Wait, wait! I think I'm going to have two little cows and one bull. I like girls better. But I'm sure it's better if two girls play with two boys. That's if I have two cows and two bulls. Well, I don't want to have any kids. I can't stand them. They spend all day crying and eating. And then, after eating so much, they don't stop. Oh, well, you know. Huh? Now what? You know, Moo Moo, what babies do all day is sleep, eat, and... <clears throat> I don't understand you, Rita. What's the matter? Do you have a sore throat or something? Let's see, Moo Moo, what do you do every day? Well, every day I wake up and I brush my teeth. Yeah, and then you? Well, then I eat a good breakfast. And then you? Well, and then I go play with you. Yeah, and then you... Well, then... I eat again. But, Moo Moo, don't you go to the bathroom? Yes, of course, every day. Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you, that all day long, children are... Oh? Uh, uh, um, doing that. Doing what? Oh, uh, never mind, Moo Moo. I'm going for a walk. Yeah, Rita, I'm sure you're going to... Ahem... <coughs> Do that, right? Moo Moo! I was just joking. Wait up, I'll go with you. What are you looking at, Rita? Look at that strange looking thing. What's so strange about it? It's just a rock. That's not a rock, Moo Moo. It's an egg. An egg from what? Well, it could be an egg from a snake, or an egg from a dinosaur. Or from a giraffe. Giraffes don't come from eggs, Moo Moo. We're mammals, just like cows are. Oh, so what do we do with this egg? It's been abandoned, right? If you find an egg in some place, you have to leave it alone without touching it and wait for its mother to come and get it. But this one looks like it's been abandoned. That's a good point, Moo Moo. It would be better if we told everyone so we can decide what to do with this egg. Milo! Olga! Talalo! Alfred! Come over here quick! I've got something incredible to tell you! Moo Moo and I have found an abandoned egg along the stone path. And do you know what animal it comes from? We don't know, but it's a really big egg. I think I know what animal it comes from. From what, Moo Moo? I'm convinced it's an egg that came from a cow. But cows don't lay eggs. You're mammals, Moo Moo. Yes, that's what everyone in the world believes. But I think I know the magic secret. Mm. The secret of what? It's the big secret of cows like me. But I'll tell you more about it another time. Moo Moo, every day we understand you less. We'd better go and check on that abandoned egg. The egg is right over here. It looks like an egg from a small animal. It looks like a dinosaur egg to me. No way. It came from a cow. It looks like an ostrich egg to me, but I'm not sure. Given my vast experience in the field of animal science, I can deduce that this egg is from... It's moving! Now you'll see there's a cow Look, inside! A leg! And another 
leg. They're so pretty. How adorable. Oh, I love this. Careful. Ooh, Look how careful. fast it moves. Don't step on it. job? Don't look at me like that. I said don't look at me like that. <laughs> oh, oh. Adorable. <laughs> you are so cute. Oh, what's the matter? You want a kiss? Come with mommy. Come with mommy. I'm going to call you Turda. I like turtles. Give me a kiss. We have a new member of the family. Yay! Yay! Rita. What an ugly looking cow, right? When I was little, was I that ugly? Moo Moo, it's not a cow, it's a turtle. I thought there was something strange. Although, if you look closely, it does look like a cow. <sighs> Milo, have you seen how many bees are in the garden today? Yeah, there are lots of them. We have to be careful not to bother them so they won't sting anyone. I don't like being stung by bees. Once I got stung on my arm and it got all swollen like a giant potato. Thanks to bees, we have flowers in the garden. Uh-huh. If they didn't go from flower to flower collecting and spreading pollen, we wouldn't have any flowers. <laughs> Hello, little bee. How are you? Hello. What's the matter? Is it because you're tired of going from flower to flower? No. The problem is that I don't know how to collect pollen. Nobody ever taught me how. Then we better do something about that. Yeah. My friends, we have a problem. There's a bee that doesn't know how to collect pollen, and no one has ever helped him learn. We need to show the bee how to collect pollen. Um, and what happens if it stings us? Bees only sting when they feel threatened, but we're going to help her, so there's no need to worry about getting stung. So team, are we all ready to help our new friend? Yeah! yeah! We've all decided that we're going to help you. Soon you'll be the fastest pollen collecting bee. We just don't know exactly how we're going to do it. Let me know when you figure it out. I'll be playing in the flower garden. Wait for me, Moo Moo. I'll go with you. Why don't we all just give him an example? What a great idea, Alfred. Yeah, yeah. We'll all pretend we're bees and go from flower to flower collecting pollen. We'll put a little bit of pollen in Moo's hand, a little bit in Rita's hand, and a little more in Olga's hand. And he'll see how it's done. Little Bee, you're going to learn something new. Come with us. Little Bee, stay with Milo while I get everything ready. Rita, you stand back, right behind that rock. A little more to the right, two steps back. Perfect! Moo Moo, you stand four steps to your right. One, two, three, four, perfect! You and Alfred, 
Um, you're just fine right there in the middle. Very good. Everybody ready? Little B, pay attention to what Olga's gonna do. Go! Did you see how Olga goes around touching each of their hands? That's what you need to do. You must go from flower to flower, collecting the pollen from each one. Oh, all right, little bee. See how easy it is? You just have to fly from flower to flower. Now you must do the same thing. Go and fly from hand to hand, touching each one. Then fly off to the next one. Got it? Mm, I think so. Also, Olga has placed a bit of pollen in each hand for you to grab and to carry in your legs while you fly. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready! Very good, little bee. Now fly towards Alfred. Now fly towards Moo Moo. Oh great, the bee is coming for its pollen. What happens if the bee thinks I'm a flower? Will he pollinate me? <gasps> and what happens if he stings me? Milo said the bee wouldn't hurt me, but if he stings me, I'll be mad. Maybe it's better when he gets here that I put my hand down so he doesn't come near me. But if I do that, he may get mad at me. That bee will sting me for sure. I think I better just run when he gets here. He's almost here. I'm so scared. I'm out of here on the count of one, two, three. Ah! A bee! the pollen. The bee is your friend. I'm sure if I were to turn around, it would sting my uh -uh. behind. Don't be silly, Moo Moo. Bees can be our friends. Ouch! A bee just stung my behind. Somebody help 